Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of GNN. Today is Thursday, May 18th, 2023, and we have a new banner on our hands here. But before we get into our main event on our brand new mobile suit, let's go over some news. All right, folks, it looks like it's been revealed. People have been talking about this, and it's finally here. The mass production type version of the double Zeta Gundam is finally here. Uh, we also have a limited step up supply drop for that suit as well, which we'll get into details very shortly. But on other news, we have a rehash, reissue, whatever you want to call it, limited supply drop for the 650 and 700 cost version of the Bound Dock here, plus its weapons for the level 2. So if you don't have this wonderful suit and you want to try learning something really amazing and pretty much a pain in the ass in the sky here, it's uh, it's here. Here's your chance. Another news in the Recycle Ticket Counter, we are getting the Gira Zulu Angelo or Gira Zulu Gira Angelo or Angelo Zulu, whatever you want to call it. It's technically call it the Angelo Zulu, but you're getting that and the Bruno gun for that suit in RT. I believe the suit itself is at 400, so hopefully you have a lot of uh, recycle tickets saved up because this thing's expensive. Uh, but I can tell you from my experience with it, it is pretty nice. In addition to that, we got changes to the DP counter as shown here. We are getting the level 2 version, which is the 700 cost Cubelay being added. The level 1, level 2 version of the Jagdoga Gune, the raid version as well as the level 1, level 2, Gallus A. Moving on to our main event here, we have the 600 cost, 2 star, ZZ, double Zeta, Gundam mass production type. It's a ground and space unit that was developed to uh, essentially attempt to mass produce the uh, double Zeta Gundam. Unfortunately, they only had four prototypes made, because it was still god awful expensive to still make. And could cost down uh could cut costs down long enough for that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, if you're doing 10 pulls for this suit, because you really gotta have it, you do get a chance to get Amaro's uh Londo Bell uniform, his normal suit, both the helmet and the suit itself is available there. As I mentioned also, there is a boosted limited supply drop step up notice for the Double Zeta Gundam mass production type. So if you've been saving up tokens and you don't want to spend too much on this uh, two star, there is a half off right now for it. So use your coins wisely, but I, you know, half, a half off discount is always a good thing. You never know, you might get some extra tickets to boost those uh, solid uh, frontliners that you like using, or backliners, what do you want to call it. In addition to that, we do have, uh, you know, on these steps here, as usual, a chance to get more two-star stuff, and then the step three, step four, or more three-star rated quality items there. Maybe weapons, right? On to the nitty-gritty. All right, folks, here is the nitty gritty here. We have the stats for the Double Zeta Gundam mass production type it is coming in at 19k HP. Uh, pretty decent resistances, uh, low 20s for both ballistic and melee resistance, resistance, excuse me, and about mid 20s for beam resistance. Now, of course, it is more of a range suit. That's not to say they can't tussle in melee, so most of the leaning is on the range side of its firepower, but it does have a little bit of melee strength output as well. Uh, in the ca maneuverability category, we are looking at about 125 with 215 for high speed movement, pretty good thruster gauge at 70, and pretty good turning speed for how bulky this thing looks. In addition to that, we would also have some pretty good uh, space there in the custom part slot there, so it does have a lot of room to sort of customize to cover some of the weaknesses that this suit has, as well as kind of tailor it to maybe a little bit more of your playstyle as well. 
going into the weapons here, the double Z of mass production type has a specific beam rifle that it gets to have. 2400 base power, four shots, decent reload time. It's not bad. Had three rounds with it. It's actually pretty, pretty decent. Uh, the beam saber itself is actually pretty nice too. The neutral's a stabbing uh, animation, but I think most people are going to go for the two-hit downswing, very similar to the um, GPO one. So that might be the play here. Hard to say. Um, we also get 50 millimeter Vulcans. Not sure why they downsized the caliber compared to say 60, but um, I would say it has decent rate of fire. But I think in the low part, you're going to be utilizing the rest of the other weapons that it has because they allow you to charge on the move, like the. Uh, Mega Beam Cannon on its head that we'll get into shortly, but you have the Beam Sabers able to turn into essentially cannons off the side there. Actually, I think they're just fixed cannons. They're not the Beam Sabers. They're actually fixed, sorry. Um, but you are able to fire, but you have to stop. Got some decent damage. 2400, essentially, if both of them hit. But you're going to be alternating a lot between all its other sub-weapons to kind of manage heat, which is... I would say fairly easy to do, although on a pinch you might run into some issues. Missile pod, you only got 60 shots, so not quite as much as the uh, main double Zeta here, but it's pretty easy to just dump that and dump that into crowds. Good cumulative damage. You also have these uh, micro missiles that tend to have some limited guidance. They're not too bad, but. Um, they don't do a whole lot of damage, it's just more damage over time. I think your big things here are going to be the shoulder cannons. You also have uh, a shotgun style mega particle cannon, very similar to the Dovin Wolf. This is very nice and in a pinch to kind of deal with targets that get too close. And then, of course, the Cram La Crop, the simple version of the high mega cannon, which uh, does a good chunk does sit out for about a minute or so, but it's not as punishing as some of the other suits that have similar effects, like the 7th the U7, you know, 2 minutes cooldown time. Um, but this has a lot of range, pretty good means of probably setting it up against uh, multiple targets kind of lining up, because you always see that happening. Going into the shopping list of skills, we got some basic stuff that you normally see, like Shock Absorbers, Balancers, Ambok, and Anti-Blast, which is really nice. This also has Maneuver Armor and Damage Control, so it has some means of shrugging off some of that incoming damage there, or at least the reactions to that. You have a Melee Combo Controller, but as I mentioned earlier, you might just want to go straight for the Downswing for consistency sake, or Subjector 2, Flight Control. Program. And this also has the range version of a skill very similar to the Silver Haze and the Gallus. So this does extra damage against toppled enemies. So you're adding another 15% on top of whatever your range strength is, which is pretty nasty to be on the re receiving end. Unfortunately, no buffers of any kind. So one thing, one major weakness to balance out all this lovely, lovely firepower is the fact that uh, you're only getting 60%. HP of your HP pool to your legs, so uh, I can see this thing getting legged pretty easily. I know the simple thing is not to get hit, but you know things happen when you're trying to help out your teammates. All right, folks, that concludes today's news. If you guys found everything informative, you liked it, enjoyed it, please do not hesitate hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure your bell notifications are all set to everything and uh, I will see you guys all on the next video.